I see in her caring, having the ability to move from the boardroom to being in the neighborhood, to be able to bring the chamber to the urban core and um, interpret to the chamber what's, what the core believe, that is incredible. I think she's a very strong-willed person. To me, she's no nonsense. When she goes out, takes a task, she completes her task, and she does her best to relate information back to us, but there are people that are giving us what we need. I love this city. Certain parts of town and certain neighborhoods have not had equal access to opportunity because of the historic and systemic racism. They started way behind. They can't overcome that without some significant changes being made. So UNI is a small nonprofit that partners with 10 neighborhoods in the urban heart of our city to work toward comprehensive revitalization. We're a place-based strategy, and all the research shows that the place or the environment, the surroundings, the neighborhood where a person lives is very, very impactful in their life outcomes. It differs by where you live. So this is a strategy of trying to make those places healthier, working in partnership with neighborhood organizations. The Urban Neighborhood Initiative has been a great partner. And the reason why is her leadership, because I think she has some excellent traits in not just hearing a person, but actually listening. She never looks at a neighborhood or a community as a canvas for her to develop. It's always a partnership that she tries to develop. I like the fact that they encourage us to impact our neighborhood, get out and get more residents involved in the community, not just coming to the association meetings, but get involved in the community. You know, what do you want to see more? When we first got started, we did planning with the neighborhoods. We had uh, months of meetings and listening sessions to have folks identify what their needs and priorities were and their priority strategies. The work is long term and a lot of times people expect to see immediate outcomes and the immediate outcomes are more incremental. So it's a challenge that it is long term. You need patience, you need perseverance, and you need people to come along with you in terms of recognizing the incremental progress that is made. And then just the issues that you're addressing are, are very difficult. Affordable housing, services in the neighborhood, broken sidewalks, these are just challenging big time issues. Since I am retiring at the end of this year, I will remain engaged in some way. I will continue to work on behalf of disadvantaged communities and disadvantaged people. I would encourage her to, as she said many times, that she's not going away, she's just stepping back. I would encourage her to not step back too far. <laughs> she has been a vital part in the first steps to making this a collaborative effort in growing our community and the change that needs to happen in the urban core. And I would hate to see that go away with retirement.